All right, welcome back to the Mad County Build Series. Today's show, I'm going to go through how to flash a pipe that goes through a steel roof, rough roof, whatever you want to say. But anyway, um, I did the best I could videoing up on the roof. It was pretty difficult, but let's go ahead and jump into it, and hopefully this is helpful to somebody. Post, and I chose this post because then I have nice, something nice and secure to attach it to and it'll have nice support all the way up through. So that's what we're gonna do. One thing that I will do, since there is no roof sheathing on this, I will build, I'll take a two by four, probably like an 18 inch two by four, an 18 inch two by four, and run a piece of plywood across it. So when I drill my hole and I run my screws through my flashing, that will have something solid to hit that I just made. Um, these were two by fours. I ripped them down half inch so that these will fit up there. And then just put a piece of plywood in there and then my hole will go through the middle there. It's gonna slide right up in there uh, and then I'll screw it into the purlin. So see if we can't get it up there. You can see I got my hole in up there. All right guys, so here is the flashing. Basically you apply a sealant all around this and then it's got different measurements. I don't know if you see in it for the size of your pipe. This one goes up to I think five inches. So you can do up to a five inch pipe with this. And this can be up to a 10-12 pitch so it can be pretty steep. And then you put a washered screw every inch around this. So this is this will form over a rib if you encounter a rib. I don't think All right guys, so I'm wearing this on my camera on my chest just because you can see that's a nice tight fit there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some silicone right around right around there to start. Smooth that out with my finger, make sure it's in that seam nice and good. So you can see how that forms right to the right to the roof there. So we'll get a good bead of sealant on the bottom of that and then we'll screw it down. All right, so you can see I got those all around there and that sealant is kind of popping out the side, which is what I want. That's getting a good seal. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay a really nice bead along the edge. They don't say to do that, but if there's any spot that missed, by adding a nice little layer around here, gives it a nice clean look and it gives it an added layer of protection.
All right, there it is all finished. Looks good. I think it'll uh, last for a long time. Um, I tried to get the closest color to matching the roof as I could, even though nobody's ever going to see this up here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take... I got a little boot that slides over that will protect this seam right here. Even though this is nice and tight, I'll lay a nice bead of silicone right around the top edge of this and then slide that other boot over, which just protects that. So it kind of just drips the water off. So I'll show you that when I do that. But I'm just going to get some silicone right here, and then I'll slide that other boot over, and then we should be good to go. All right, so you can see, put a little bead of silicone around the top of that rubber seal. So I'm pretty protected now, but one last step, you can buy these little rain deflectors, cut them to the size you want, and then it just pops over. It's got a nice tight fit, and you just literally slide that down just over the top, like so. And so now, the rain will come down, hit this, deflect off, and if it doesn't, there's another seal below, plus the silicone. So, I suppose you could always put a bead of silicone around this too, and you'd be extra, extra protected. But that is the, that's the end of it right there, guys. Um, there's plenty of ways the water can get around here. It's got a nice tight seal, a screw at least every inch. And like I said, I put that piece of plywood down below, so all these screws are going into something nice and secure, so they shouldn't come loose over time. And then I added that bead of sealant around the edge, which will also help. So should be good and watertight and we shouldn't have to worry about it. So I appreciate you guys watching this episode. Um, this is kind of a pain to do on steel roofs, but once you do a couple, it's not that bad. Um, I'm gonna have another one um, to do when I put the uh, triple wall chimney in for my uh, wood stove. That, that seal is a big square one, so that's a, a little bit different, but um, it's going to be at the top of the roof, so I don't have to worry about snow coming down and whatnot. Um, so when I get to that point, I will share that with you. But thanks for watching, and we'll check you on the next video.